Hello everyone, it's been a very long time since I've made a video. Um, so I figured I would start and catch you up on what happened over the past couple of years. It's been a long time, uh, there's a lot of friends that I haven't seen in years. Um, some of them with whom I, I haven't interacted in a while. I figured I would just give a general update and put it on this channel over here. Um, yeah, it's been a while. Um, a lot of things have changed since 2017 when I was doing my regular vlogs. The first of which uh, being that Shana and I finished traveling together. The last few vlogs I actually still have on my computer. I haven't unpacked them fully yet and maybe I will in the future. Who knows? Towards the end of 2017, so Shana and I started traveling together and we ended up moving to Dublin, Ireland. So that was the end of a year-long trip for me to uh, traveling through Asia after traveling in some parts to the US. And so Shana transferred from her job based in the US over to Ireland. And that was really awesome. And for myself, I continued working uh, remotely. So I continued freelancing for that year. That was the year 2018. And we were both settled in Ireland. So I was working from home. She was working at an office. We met some cool friends and it was just really cool living in Ireland. I'll see if I can add some uh, photos and videos briefly. So that was the first part. And then after a year in Dublin, we realized we really liked living in Europe. Um, however, at the end of the day, Dublin and Ireland, there were some things that weren't enough for us. We wanted, we wanted a little bit more. And so we looked at our opportunities, we looked at where we could go, what we could do. And it just so happens that I also started feeling towards the end of 2018 uh, as if my freelancing career was kind of plateauing and I needed to get onto something different. I needed some change, needed something bigger. And the same was happening in our personal lives where Dublin and Ireland were really nice we had we've made some good friends some good experiences but we needed something else we needed to change something a little bigger a little bit more eventful and so what happened was I ended up finding a position in a startup based in Paris um, so I've been working here now for a year and a half and it's a uh, it's a technology company basically and it's a it's a role that really fits me I, I love the people I'm working with I love the the problems that we're trying to solve I love the company and it's uh, it's been a great experience so I started at this company uh, in March 2019 leading up to March 2019 Shana and I got engaged <laughs> We also got married a couple weeks after being engaged. We could have waited a little bit more, I suppose, but in terms of paperwork to try to get her as an American coming to Europe, honestly, it was uh, so much easier and faster. We also made sure that we could plan the wedding properly with our closest family members, um, her parents, mine, our grandparents and, and siblings. And it was just a great time. Like we had an amazing time. And to this day, I don't regret anything about this. Like it was just, Honestly, best day of my life so far. Yeah, just had a really nice time, both families, um, getting to know each other and enjoying each other's companies, going out to explore in the south of France. This was all incredible. And so that leads us to here. Basically for the past year and a half now, Shana and I have lived a happily married life here in Paris, France, and it's honestly been fantastic. Overall, there's been a lot of changes for both of us and maybe even more so for her. She came into this country not knowing the language so much, not knowing the culture, but after a year and a half she, she really put in the efforts to to get to know France and Paris a little bit more and I would say now she's honestly a full Parisian. We both love it here in terms of the quality of life that we have here compared to what we could have had um, if we had tried to go to the, the US or um, other countries in the world. Paris for us is a great place with amazing food, amazing culture. It's a big city in the grand scheme of things, so you have access to culture, you have access to easy public transportation in the city. If you need to go elsewhere in the country, elsewhere in Europe, elsewhere in the world, we have one of the biggest uh, airports in the world here. And uh, yeah, and there's just always something happening 
me here in Paris. And the city is gorgeous, let's be honest. As I'm taping this, it's the middle of July. It's just amazing that within a 20 minute walk, we're like dead center uh, in between the opera uh, next to the Louvre, the, one of the, the most beautiful museums in the world. And just, a, it's a city that's just so, so beautiful. I'm obviously a little bit biased being French and all, having gone to Paris my entire life, but honestly, uh, I would say it's the most beautiful city in the world. Everything here, um, there's so much beauty everywhere. And it's been, it's been fantastic, honestly. But yeah, coming out of the pandemic again, uh, this is July 2020. Um, so yeah, so we, we spent a couple months locked down in this apartment. And at the end of the day, it, it worked out fine. Yeah, Shana is transitioning her career from, uh, she was in consulting before and she's moving into interior design. Um, and that's fantastic because I can see her being so much more inspired, so much more creative, but at the same time being able to use her business acumen that she's developed for you know a decade so it's it's pretty amazing to see this transformation for her and it makes both of us really happy that we're both in situations where we can support each other respect each other and yeah just being able to be happy in regards to what we do professionally and what we do personally so yeah so that was a quick video to catch up on what we've been up to i rarely use certain social network that everyone is on these days. Uh, so you can file this under Thibaut is kind of like an outsider. Basically, I don't really use Instagram. I deleted my Facebook account. I do spend a lot of time on Twitter. Uh, and then I started joining different communities here and there based on my own interests. But honestly, if you wanna if you wanna get in touch, the easiest way is going through Twitter, or if you have my personal like email or anything like that. And and feel free to just send me a message, and I'm happy to like give these to you privately, um, so that we can connect. Yeah, I think that's it. Um, uh, throughout this video, I'm I'm trying to link through several videos, several photos, several things that we've done in the past. We took some trips over the past two years, which have been great. We went to Toronto. We went to the U.S. a bunch of times. Uh, we went to. Uh, Croatia, you know, there, there's definitely a lot more that happened in the past two and a half years than I can sum up in a, a short video. Uh, that went on a little bit longer than I thought. It was all over the place, but I hope you guys enjoy. And uh, yeah, maybe I'll make another one soon, or maybe it'll take a couple months. Who knows? But here's an update.